Welcome to B2B Marketing and More with your host, Pam Didner. As a leading marketing and sales enablement strategist, keynote speaker, and author, Pam created this podcast to share her professional experience and insights and help you to be a great B2B marketer. If you enjoy the podcast, please share it with your colleagues and leave a review on iTunes. Now let's get started. Hello, welcome to another episode of B2B Marketing and More with Pam Dittner. This is Pam. Here's my podcast that I share my know-hows and templates. I want to help you see B2B marketing from different lights and be a better B2B marketer. So let's get started. For today's episode, I want to continue the series of how to create a solid messaging framework. I know, I know. Can you believe it? I'm talking about messaging framework part number four. It's kind of ridiculous. And I fully understand that this is also a niche topic in marketing. On top of it, not everyone is creating messaging or talking points. And this may not be your job. I get it. But as a modern marketer, I think it's important to have a holistic view on marketing or how marketing is done. And messaging creation, in a way, is as important as content creation and storytelling. So just to quickly remind everybody, on episode 101, I talk about what is a messaging framework and the process of crafting a solid one. On episode 102, I share a product-specific template. And on episode 103, I went through a thought leadership messaging template. So if you are interested in templates, um, product specific, go to episode 102. If you are doing a thought leadership storytelling, you should check out the messaging template on episode 103. For this specific episode, I want to talk about messaging framework again, but for secondary or low cost, low volume or low cost, high volume products. I have several listeners ask me, Pam, my company sells many, many products. Do I need to create, you know, messaging framework for every single one of them? That will be a lot of work. I know. No, you don't. You really don't need to create messaging framework for every single product. And the messaging framework I share with you on episode 102 is really for hero products. I call them hero products, the, which is the primary products, right? Is the primary products that sales and marketing focus on to bring the most dollar to the company. And I understand that your company may sell many other products and you need to showcase these products on your websites or even on your print catalogs. I get it. Yes. A lot of industries still do print catalogs, including Ikea. Imagine that. So if you think about it, most of e-commerce sites, they have templates already, right? That you need to fill out in order to showcase your products on your websites. Use that templates as a substitute for your messaging framework, right? That's what I would do. Don't create something new. So the template is likely to have the following elements. The name of the product, description of the product. Usually you need about like a two or three short statement to talk about what that product is. Product features, right? Again, two or three bullet points. Product benefits, again, two or three bullet points. And then product dimensions. And this is very critical. If you think about it, if you look at any kind of e-commerce site, it doesn't matter is clothing, furniture, blanket, e or any other uh, consumer electronics, they always have a product dimension field. So have that, Im- uh, have that Im- information ready. And the other one is images, right? So for any kind of print catalog, so any kind of e-commerce size, and uh, they have uh, multiple images to showcase uh, the product from a different angles. So that's pretty much the image, that's pretty much the, the fields that you need to fill out. But I would also add another column though, Um, to show the product owners and also the business groups. So you know whom to track down when you need to update and refresh the information. Does that make sense? So if you think about it, the messaging template is really product level information that uh, you classify your products online and offline. So that's easy for your customer to to see and to search. So very quick takeaway. Number one, 
not every product needs big product specific messaging templates that I described on episode 102. Prioritize which product need the in-depth messaging templates based on your marketing budget and the sales focus. Number two, if you have many products, think about where these products are showcased. Are they displayed online or offline? What information is needed for online and offline formats? You know, maybe a form already exists. I'm pretty sure if you have e-commerce site or the print catalogs, the forms is already there. Number three, identify an owner for each product. If you need to update or refresh the information, you know where to go and whom to talk to. So this is really the last episode about messaging framework. Like I said, not everyone does messaging framework, but it's important to get a sense how it's done. If you need it one day, you can always come to my website to find the templates or reach out to me anytime. Again, this is B2B Marketing and More with Pam Dinner. I hope you enjoy this short episode. Finally, one episode is shorter than, uh, I don't know, seven minutes. <laughs> so more B2B marketing topics to come in the future. Again, I would really appreciate that you can like or subscribe my podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. In the meantime, have a great day. If you enjoyed this podcast, please share it with your colleagues and leave a review on iTunes. 